In question 1D, the trigger for us on this one is if we have four or more factors, we should be thinking of factoring by grouping. We don't always get the nicety of them grouping them in the right order, like the first three and the last three. So what you got to do is make a quick scan of your six terms here and see which ones have some commonality or things that they have that are the same. So in this, what I recognize is that this term has an x squared in it, this term has an x squared term in it, and that term has an x squared in it. And then if I looked at the others, then I know that these other three have something common in them too. They're all y squareds. So that's kind of what you got to do. Make a quick scan and see if you're going to group them by threes. Make sure the first three have something in common. Make sure the last three have something in common. And then we'll start factoring by grouping. So now that I have that kind of figured out, what I want to do is I want to write my 12a x squared. And I want to put all the x squares together. So minus 18b x squared. And then I want to put my plus 24 c x squared. I want to put those three things in a group. Then I want to put my y's together, so my y squareds. Well, the first one I see is minus 20 c y squared. So because I never want this sign to be negative in between, rather than putting minus 20 c y squared, I almost had it. So here's where we got to be a little bit careful. It really says minus 20 c y squared. So that we end up with a positive sign in here, rather than subtracting it, what we do is we add its opposite. So then I can put my parentheses and have a positive sign in between the groups. But we really want that to be positive. And the other way that you could get around that is by putting this thing first. So if you don't want to have to deal with changing it to adding the opposite, then go ahead and just put the positive one first if you have that choice. But I'm going to illustrate changing it to the opposite. And then I want to put my minus 10 a y squared and then finally our plus 15 b y squared so there's a little bit of organization to get going with this to start off with but after you have that then find your common factors what is your gcf and these three well in my numbers themselves 12 18 and 24 the greatest common factor is six and then we can also take out an x squared from both or from all three so now we're going to divide this all by six x squared so if i factor that out i get a 2a I factor out a 6x squared, we get a minus 3b, and we get a plus 4c. Now we're hoping that this factor will show up again later on the other side. <clears throat> so what I know is I want to get a positive um, 2a. So I'm going to look down here at my term with the a in it. It's a negative. So when I start factoring, I've got to be thinking of how do I turn a negative into a positive, and that's only by factoring out a negative. And the 20 and the 10 and the 15 have a common factor of 5. So I'm going to take out a negative 5, and we can also factor out a y squared. Now, by factoring out that negative, I should change the signs on all of these that are in here. So this uh, negative 20 divided by negative 5 will be a positive 4. C took out the y squared. This negative 10 divided by negative 5 will be a positive 2. A. And this positive 15 divided by negative 5 will be a negative 3. B. So I just factored out the 5y y squared. And what I said is I wanted the factor here to match my factor over here. And if I do a little bit of quick comparisons, that's a positive 4c, positive 4c, positive 2a, positive 2a, negative 3b, negative 3b. And that's exactly what we wanted to see happen, that these two terms are the same. So we're going to factor out our common factor out of our two terms. So I'm factoring out this common factor of 2a minus 3b plus 4c, and what's left is the 6x squared minus 5y squared. We should be careful that we look at this and see if it'll factor again. It's a binomial. It's a, the only thing it could be is a difference two squares, but 6 and 5 are not perfect squares, so I know that I am completed and we're finished. So that is an example of factoring by grouping.